Now that we've navigated the user to the ad shopping page, let's create ourselves a template for that ad shopping page. We can change the title to have a space inside of the ad shopping. We can also add a color of primary to the nav bar. And inside of our ion content, we can add some text boxes. You can add as many as you want, but I'll start off by adding an ion item. And that ion item will contain an ion label. The label will be floating. And the first item on our list will be the item name. We'll add an input field so that the user can input a particular item name. By default, the type of this is text. So we don't have to define that, but we will in this circumstance just so we can make that obvious. And then what I also want to do is copy this and we'll paste it below. So as well as having an item name, we can also have a number. So that will be the number of items. We can add the type here to be number instead of text, and that will change the keyboard for the user. So instead of getting a QWERTY keyboard, when they select this field, they'll get numbers that they can select. So we have the ability for a user to type in an item name and how many items they want to purchase. After that, they should have a button and we can add the ion button attribute as well as the block attribute. And what the block attribute does is it makes the button take up 100% of the width of the screen. But we will be adding padding to our width so it won't take up the entire screen. And inside of the button, so the button text, we can say add item. Let's take a look at our ad shopping list page. So if we now navigate to the ad shopping list, you can see that we have an item name and we have an item number. Even on a desktop, you can see that we can only select numbers inside of this field. And because we've used the floating attributes inside of our inputs, when we select the field, the label goes floating above the field itself. You can see how this looks on various different operating systems by heading to the platforms at the top right and selecting more from the drop down list. Now that we've added a template for our ad shopping page, let's create ourselves a model so that we can accurately define an interface for our shopping item.